Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Miguel. I am the host of Strategy Rewind Podcast, the podcast that focuses on the mindset and strategies necessary for a breakthrough moment. I am a personal growth strategist, and what that means is that I help individuals think strategically so they can accomplish their breakthrough moment. If that's content that you're into, then I want to encourage you to hit the subscribe. Make sure you connect, tell a friend to tell a friend, because of course, the more the merrier. (laughs) I am currently live on the Wisdom application. If you're unfamiliar with the Wisdom application, it's an application that allows you to build community through audio content, as opposed to going live video or posting images or long posts. On the Wisdom application, you can actually ask questions, get those answers, and you can actually curate those answers. Begin to collect answers, get insight, and of course, make connections, expand your community, and overall, gain wisdom. It's a powerful application, and I want to encourage you to download, rather be on your Android or iOS. Listen, I do not get a kickback. I do not get any mission or earnings. If you do download it, I'm only encouraging you to download it because I think it's going to be a powerful, powerful application. Today, we're talking about areas of personal growth. Here's one of the cool things about the Wisdom application, that those individuals who are connected live can actually hit the button and become a guest. So if you're listening on the Strategy Rewind podcast, consider it. Consider downloading the application. In the meantime, just thank you for being a part of this conversation. Areas of personal growth. That's what we're going to talk about here today. I think it's going to be really awesome. Oftentimes we talk about personal growth, but I don't think we talk about the various areas of personal growth. And I think it'd be good to start, well, to start with something that is very, very important. And I think it's the emotional side. You know, we talk about growing, we talk about becoming better people. We oftentimes just think about that breakthrough moment, accomplishing a goal, maybe getting the promotion, getting a new job, starting a new relationship, moving to another city or quitting an addiction. And we oftentimes neglect the emotional side of our life. And so one of the areas of personal growth is emotional growth. In fact, it's also one of the 10 life domains. There are 10 domains to your life, which include spirituality, physical, relational, and yes, even emotional. So emotional growth focuses on the development and management of your feelings and how you react to situations. When we talk about someone being mature, we're saying that it's an individual who knows how to balance the moment and their emotions. How many times have you felt like running away or even running out of a place because you didn't want to be there? The fact that you didn't run away shows a level of maturity. However, you may be also neglecting or just ignoring those emotions. So you have to go back and check yourself. So you have to actually assess yourself. While challenges such as stress and anxiety can contribute to burnout, how many times have you felt burned out? Emotional growth can help you overcome those challenges. Again, we all experience different levels of stress. So you may be accustomed to a certain level of stress, but because you've been stretched out so much, you may not realize that you're taking on more burdens than what you're accustomed to having. You just keep saying yes, yes, yes. The fear of saying no actually makes you grab more responsibility, leading to further stress and yes, burnout. So when we talk about actually having emotional growth, it can help you overcome those challenges. This can assist you in expressing your emotions effectively and discussing your opinions with whomever you are engaging. And you can do so with patience and open-mindedness. Emotional growth allows you to process and evaluate your feelings, rather it be your feelings with relations to work, with relations to your future, your current, past events. The truth is that emotional growth can help you choose an appropriate course of action. So it's not enough to just become mature and know how to manage those emotions. You have to actually become emotionally aware. We talk about emotional intelligence. You have to become aware of why you're feeling what the things you're feeling. And you have to actually think about a course of action that is necessary 
to, well, deal with those emotions, deal with those feelings, not burying them, not ignoring them, not thinking if I just do something else, then it won't become something that I'm thinking about so much, actually addressing those emotions. So when we talk about areas of personal growth, one of those areas is emotional growth. And as I mentioned before, it is also one of the 10 life domains. And it's important to know the 10 life domains because, well, it'll help you evaluate where do you need to put your attention. Oftentimes we are people that are very spiritual and yet we neglect our emotional growth or we neglect our social growth. Let's talk a little bit about the social growth. But before, let me jump into the spiritual growth because, well, as I mentioned, many times we are heavy, heavy, heavy spiritual people. Right? We're focused on the spiritual things and being connected and being able to be connected at a higher level. But the truth is that while spiritual growth refers to connecting with yourself in a holistic level, it also is developing as a person and finding your inner peace. People experience spiritual growth in various ways, right? Depending on their culture, belief, and experiences. Some prefer a structured approach of spiritual growth, such as practicing a religion or meditating regularly, while others work on improving their spiritual health as they feel they need it. Spiritual growth matters at work, and it matters in your relationships, and it matters in your future, and it matters in your goal setting because it can help you manage stress and build confidence in yourself and your abilities. And so often we are wanting to be people that get better, that grow better, that get stronger. And yet we neglect this side of us. Remember, keep this in mind. We are not only rational beings. We are not only physical beings. We are also spiritual beings. And because of this, that means that we have to balance our emotions. We have to balance our thinking and our intellect. We also have to balance our spiritual life. And maybe you're saying, well, I don't practice any, uh, you know, any meditation. I don't practice any religion. I understand. But we are all, again, as I mentioned, not only physical beings, but we're also spiritual beings. I, I said I was going to talk a little bit more about that physical growth. So let's go into that, considering that we've just spoken about that spiritual side of things. You know, meditation for me has been helpful. Praying has been helpful. Being part of a community of faith has been impactful in my life indeed. And so, you know, my faith in God has helped me immensely to discover the potential. And through service and serving others, I have found so many insights about me that I don't think I otherwise would have known in my life. But I've also learned that I've had to navigate through physical growth because you can easily get married and get comfortable and grow what some people call a dad bod. And yeah, <laughs> so physical growth is important. Again, it's one of the 10 life domains, but we're talking about areas of growth today. Physical growth is important. Physical growth involves taking care of your body and using it in a productive way. Your physical condition affects all of the other areas of your personal growth. If you feel sluggish, you may be a little bothered, a little irritated. How many people know about the term hangry? It's when you get angry because you're hungry. <laughs> physical growth has a lot to do with the way you react, with the way you behave, with the way you interact with other people. Your physical condition affects all other areas of personal growth and development as a healthy body uh, facilitates an effective brain functioning, right? As you eat better, as you sleep better. I was actually having a conversation with somebody about the power of sleep recently. And truly, as you sleep better, it does something to your life. It changes everything. And I would encourage you to get a sleep test, get a sleep test. Uh, I did one and I realized that I needed a CPAP and I'm not ashamed of saying that it's helped me immensely. I already implemented a sleeping routine, but I also implemented on top of that sleeping routine, the use of the CPAP. And when I use it versus when I don't use it, I noticed the difference. And ladies and gentlemen, you don't know what you don't know until you start actually discovering and seeing where you are. 
I would highly, highly recommend you get a sleep test if you can. Listen, you can focus on physical growth by eating a better, healthier diet, exercising regularly, getting adequate sleep. When you feel better physically, you may find it easier to work. You may find it easier to think about the future. You may find it easier to focus. And you may find it easier to balance your relationships and find harmony in all the things you're doing. Speaking of relationships, we are on a social platform after all, and we are uh, conversing here about the areas of growth. One of the areas of growth is the social growth. And this area involves improving communication skills. And understand that communication isn't only the words you use, but it's the way you use those words. How many times have you been in a conversation and the person either tells you or you tell the other person, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. While some professionals focus on developing other skills, like learning how to communicate is actually effective and important especially if you work independently, and I think even more so if you work in a group. You want to make sure that you are being understood, not just for work's sake, but also for your relationship. And because, well, you want to make sure that when you communicate, that you're being understood as you're attempting to communicate it, not that someone is trying to disseminate or decipher what it is that you're saying. Learning how to become a better and active listener can actually help you in your communication skills. So if you become a better listener and a clear speaker, well, this can help you, again, be more productive, not just at work when you're working in a team, but it also offer, allows you to offer insight in whenever you're in a conversation. How many times have you been in a conversation with someone and they say some things and you're like, Wait, where are you right, right now? They're obviously not present. Their mind is somewhere else. Or they're thinking about the sleep that they didn't get. <laughs> Listen, social growth can also help you develop friendships, not just at work, but outside of your normal circle. Open up the doors of opportunity. Allow yourself to grow in these areas. So, so far we've spoken about social growth, spiritual growth, emotional and physical. But I suppose we've need to cover, we need to cover one more area, and that is the mental growth. There are two different mindsets. There is a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. A fixed mindset says things are the way they are and they will never change. A growth mindset says things are the way they are, but they can change. I can change. Things can get better. Mental growth focuses on the development of your mind, such as the way you think and the way you learn the way you engage with the content, the way you engage with material, with new material, new information, new insight. It also relates to how your uh, cognitive function affects your behavior. Improving your mental aptitude can benefit anyone, especially in the workplace, in your home, relationships, in the goal setting, when you're able to actually think long-term, when you're actually able to use all your brain Power. Listen, performing simple tasks such as staying informed about trends and updates in your field can help you experience gradual mental growth. How many people do you know, or maybe you are one of those people that play those mental games? There's this game that I play on my phone that it's a very simple game. It really is um, taking... Uh, all of these train tracks and you're building out train tracks, but it requires strategy. It requires thinking. You have to plan ahead because you never know when the demand is going to uh, pop up in this particular game. Uh, I enjoy it. I've had my daughter play it as well. She enjoys it. But but maybe you have a mental game that you like to play that helps you get those mental juices going. The truth is that if you focus on these areas of growth, you'll find that the person that you are today is not going to be anything compared to who you can be in the future. When we talk about growth, oftentimes we limit it on one area. We think about financial growth. We think about growing in a relationship. We think about growing in other areas. But few times do we think about the mental growth. We think we got it all figured out. Mentally, I'm okay. Maybe you have a, a mental uh, thought. Maybe you have a mindset that isn't beneficial and needs to be challenged. Maybe socially you think, I got it all figured out, but 
You may need to improve your communication skills or your ability to be present when others are conversing with you. Or maybe it's the spiritual part of your life that you've neglected because or you've refused to believe, but you've also refused to embrace. Maybe it's the emotional side of you that you don't want to tap into because, well, you don't want to see, you don't want to have them see you cry or you don't want to be vulnerable with anyone. Or maybe it's the physical side of your life that you've just simply neglected. Understanding the five areas of personal growth is important because it can help you explore where to make improvements in your life, which may increase your satisfaction, not just in relationships, not just at your jobs, not just in out in public, but, but really increase your quality of life and help you advance towards that breakthrough moment. So once you've recognized a weakness and once you've recognized a strength, then it's easy for you to begin to implement the necessary goals to help you overcome, to help you have a breakthrough moment. And oftentimes in these moments of analyzing and realizing that you could be better, starting a plan can seem difficult. Actually deciding to start may seem difficult, but when you decide which of these areas you'd like to experience growth in, consider identifying a person who already embodies the traits you desire. This is why I've often said surround yourself with people that will nourish your vision because it's likely that those people understand and they've probably gone through it already. But maybe you're looking around in your circle and you're saying, I've got nobody that fits that description. Well, then I want to invite you to click on the link, rather it be in my bio if you're listening through the Wisdom app, or rather it be in the show notes if you're listening through the Strategy Rewind podcast. But from whatever platform you're listening, listen, you want to go to MiguelLebron.com. There, select a coaching tab and set up a free 30-minute strategy session with me. Because here's the thing, we can work together to implement the necessary strategies so that you can experience personal growth in your life. There's no need to walk around blind, unknowing or unwilling to change. It's time to discover, it's time to develop, and it's time to mature the gifts that are in you. It's time for you to have your breakthrough moment. This is the season. This is the time. This is the moment. There's no reason to think that you can't live better, that you can't be better. There's no reason to think that things are the way they are and that they'll never change. Give yourself a chance to be better. Give yourself a chance to live a better life. Now listen, currently it is February and we're heading towards the midway point of this month. And I'm going every day live in the month of February on the Wisdom app. And of course that becomes part of the conversation for the Strategy Rewind podcast. So when February is over and March is upon us, on March 4th, I'll be conducting a free course called the start of the master plan it's a free course and i want to invite you to be part of this course details are attached right there in the show no links and in my bio again it's going to be march 4th free course that's going to help you not only connect with growth minded people but also i'll provide to you some worksheets that can help you discover what values are important for you it can also allow you to identify those values in your life and how it plays factor in your goal setting a powerful framework for defining success will be provided to you and many many more advantages you definitely want to mark this on your calendar but here's the thing here's the thing there's only 20 spots available we can't make this available for everyone it's a free course that we're offering it is the start of a master plan model we're giving this option away for free why? Because I want to see you succeed. Because I want to see you accomplish your breakthrough moment. Because I don't want you to think that you're stuck. Because I don't want you to think that 2023 is going to be like every other year. Because I want you to master these areas that we've spoken about today. Because I want you to start your master plan now and say, this 
is the year I conquer. Head over to my website, MiguelLebron.com. There you can find more details of this course coming up in the start of March and many, many more things. Of course, surround yourself with people that will nourish your vision and aim, aim, aim high. Listen, we've been to the moon and back, so aim high. Dream big. Thank you for being connected. I'll chat with you shortly.